This is how you put in the best fit line, a scatter plot, get the equation to that best fit line in SPSS. So our variables are the uh, returning birds problem again, right? So the, your X variable, if you would call it, is how many birds from the original flock come back and your Y is how many new birds are kind of joining the flock. So you're trying to predict if the number of old birds influences how many new birds are there. First thing I would do is not check for normality because that is not a, an assumption, but I would put in a scatter plot. There's several ways to do that. I'm just going to go graphs, legacy down here to scatter plot. Pick the simple because I'm a simple guy. And then we kick in our two variables. And again, because I think the explanatory variable is the returning birds. I think that's what's controlling, right? This is the cause. And then the number of new birds, that's your response variable or your effect variable, right? Or this is the one that's being forced to change, right? So let's click our OK and we get a scatter plot. Not much to look at. And this is how you put in a best fit line. You double click on the graph, pulls up the chart editor. And let me get these guys so you can see them. Boom, 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 boom. So you get all that stuff there too, but I'm going to move that up the side. Now there's your best fit line. And it goes down, and you'll notice it gave you the equation right off the bat, so you don't have to worry about that. So there's your equation. That's everything you need. Let's close that down and X that out. So there is the best fit line, and the prediction is Y equals 2.484 minus 0.021 times how many returning birds there are, right? That's your X value. So that, that is the fit there. Now, I don't know if that's significant or not. Um, let's check that out. Your R squared, which is also called your coefficient of determination or your, you know, just the slope of a line, if you remember that, is 0.2. That, that's not bad. So let's just check to see if the correlation is significant. The fastest way is just go to the correlation thing. Stick a boob in there. And, you know, run them because that's what this thing does. It gives you the significance. It's not quite significant. Problem is, is the sample size is really dinky, right? So you only got 13 pairs of numbers. It's not very big sample size. It's probably why it's not significant. Always remember that sample size is always a part of the calculations when it comes to significance testing or not. All right, that's it. MGZ. Oh.